Do you know what to do when you're trying to do a subtraction question and one of the numbers in the bottom line is bigger than the number above it? When the digit you're taking away is bigger than the digit you're trying to take it away from, you need to know a method to solve the problem. In this lesson, you'll learn how to trade between place value columns to solve this problem. Let's try some subtractions where this problem occurs. Look at this example. 54 take away 26. Well, 54 is a bigger number than 26, so that's okay. But look at the ones column. The first thing we have to do is take 6 away from 4. How can we do that? We'll use place value columns to help us and we'll use unit squares and 10 strips for the number so you can understand what's happening. Let's put the bigger number in the place value columns. Look at the ones column of the number sentence. We need to take 6 away from 4. Look at the ones column of the place value columns. We don't have 6 ones to take away. We only have 4. So what we do is take one group of 10 from the tens column, change it back to 10 ones and put the 10 ones in the ones column. This gives us 14 ones in the ones column and only four groups of 10 in the tens column. We can't just steal those 10 ones. We have to trade them from one column to the other or the sum won't turn out right. Well, that's all very well but we can't always have 10 strips and unit squares to help us work the sum out. How do we show what we've done in a normal sum? Looking at our sum, we change the 4 in the 1's column to 14 by placing a 1 just beside the 4. And we took 10 out of the 10's column, so we need to change the 5 10's to 4 10's. Now we have 14 units in the 1's column, and we can take 6 away from that. And that leaves 8. Put the 8 in the 1's column of our sum. Looking at the 10's column in our sum, we have 4 take away 2. Take away 2 10 strips from our 4 10 strips and that leaves 2 10's. Put the 2 10's in the 10's column. So the answer to 54 Take away 26 equals 28.